For everyone else, I would say the majority, I would still encourage you to continue to use the Trace Together app on your smartphone if you have it available because the next step is that we want to augment the safe entry program by making proximity data also available to it. And let me explain what I mean. We are now in a phase where we're beginning to open up, for instance, for conferences and other business-related events. And for these sort of events where you're going to have more people interacting, it's not enough to just know who has been in this building, say, in the last hour. You actually want to know of that group of people who happen to be in the building, who actually has been in close proximity to each other. In order to have that level of granularity, you do need proximity data. So what we will do is that in October, we will conduct a trial where you will do safe entry on the basis of a Trace Together program, either using your app or using the token. And we will roll this out in a way that is seamless and convenient so that actually you might find that it's less onerous and it's transparent to you. Now I need to emphasize that putting together these two functionalities, which is venue and proximity, will still protect the privacy of the person, but it will enhance the level of protection for the people concerned. The other uh, update is that from the 10th of September, which actually means tomorrow, we will start a new service called a self-check service and an SMS notification. That is for people who have used safe entry and if we subsequently discover that a person who is tested positive for COVID-19 has been in the same safe entry venue as you, uh, if we believe that you're a close contact, we will contact you anyway. But if not, and you're just concerned and you can't remember, you can, you can subscribe for a service which will notify you with, that you happen to be in the same place at the same time, though not necessarily in close proximity. So this will be a self-serve uh, mechanism. But again, I want to emphasize that if indeed you are at any risk, don't worry, we will come and notify you and we will advise you on the appropriate precautions to take. So that's basically where we're at. Um, I would say right now, as far as the Trace Together program is concerned, it's been downloaded about 2 point, by 2.4 million times. But we actually still want to push participation in this program because this is one of those things where the more, we, the more people we have on board, the more effective the level of protection afforded to all of us.